Hello, French horn players. I hope everyone is excited to begin playing our instruments. We are going to begin by talking about the case. You want to make sure that the case is flat in front of you, and if there's a logo or a brand name, you want to make sure that when your case is down, that logo or brand name is on the top. Now, in this case, I don't have a logo or a brand name on my instrument, so the next thing you would look at are the latches here. And you want the latches to be facing down, like this. We can see that this latch here is down. That way, when you go to open up your instrument case, the pieces won't fall out. So you want to make sure either your logo or brand name is on top, or the latches are facing down. Once you have that, go ahead and open up your instrument. Now, inside your case, you're going to see two main things. You're going to see your mouthpiece, and then, of course, you're going to see the horn. Now, on the horn, there's a few different parts that are important to identify. So first of all, we have the bell of the instrument. Then these three parts right here are called the levers. And these three circles are the rotors. And we have our slides, the pinky ring, the thumb hook, and then the lead pipe, which is where the mouthpiece goes. So again, we have our mouthpiece, and then on our actual horn, we have the bell of the instrument, we have our levers, the rotors, our slides, the pinky ring, the thumb hook, and then our lead pipe, which is where the mouthpiece goes into. We are going to start with just your mouthpiece, so everyone can get that out. And the first thing we're going to do, it's a little goofy, but we're going to act like a horse and go like this. Try that with me. Ready, go. One more time, big breath. Ready, go. Now that our lips are warmed up, I want you to put your lips together and your teeth apart, just like you're saying the syllable M. It'll sound like this. M. Try that with me. Lips together, teeth apart, and say the syllable M. M. Once you have that with your lips together and your teeth apart, see if you can hold your lips just a little more firmly together and buzz them like this. We call that a free buzz. See if you can do that with me. Lips together, teeth apart, and try to buzz your lips. Here we go. Now that might be challenging to do at first, but after we get used to playing, that'll be a little easier to buzz your lips like that. Now, the next step, what we're going to do is take three fingers, two fingers on top and your thumb on the bottom, and you're going to hold your mouthpiece just like this. We don't want to hold the whole mouthpiece on our fist. All we need, two fingers on top and one on the bottom. Now, what you're going to do is take your mouthpiece and you're going to put it right up to the center of your lips. And then you put your lips together and your teeth apart and see if you can do that free buzz on the mouthpiece. It'll sound like this. See if you can buzz on your mouthpiece with me. Two fingers on top, thumb on the bottom, your lips together, your teeth apart, mouthpiece right in the center, and try to buzz with me. Ready? Buzz. Oh. 
Now, once you're able to buzz on your mouthpiece, we're going to try an exercise called play for four, rest for four. And we're gonna do that in two different ways. The first way is in whole notes, where we sustain the note for four beats. It'll sound like this. See if you can try that with me. Play for four, rest for four, whole notes. Two fingers on top, one on the bottom, mouthpiece right in the center, lips together, teeth apart. One, two, together, here we go. Rest, rest, one more time. And that is our play for four, rest for four exercise on our mouthpiece. And now we're gonna do the same exercise, but in four quarter notes. And that sounds like this. Rest, 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 rest. See if you can play that with me. Play for four, rest for four, with four quarter notes. One, two, ready, buzz. Rest, rest, one more time. And those are the two exercises you're going to have to work on with your mouthpiece. Play for four, rest for four, using whole notes and four quarter notes. Once you've done that, you're ready to put the horn together. So take your horn out of the case and take your mouthpiece. You're gonna take your mouthpiece and put it into the lead pipe with just a slight twist. All you need is a tiny twist. That way when you go to take the mouthpiece out, it doesn't get stuck. Now let's learn how to hold the instrument. With your left hand, you're gonna take your thumb towards you and the bell of the instrument should be out to your right. So the bell is to your right. You're gonna take your left hand thumb, wrap it around, put it inside the thumb hook. You're gonna take your first, second, and third finger, put them along your first, second, and third levers, and then put your pinky inside the hook. And that's our left hand. So again, thumb around inside the thumb hook, first, sec uh, first finger, second finger, and third finger, along the levers, and your pinky inside the ring. Now, with your right hand, you're going to make a C, and you wanna take that right hand and rest it right here along the bell. Now, we don't wanna put our whole entire hand inside the bell, or that's gonna muffle the sound and change the pitch. We just wanna rest it, not all the way in, not all the way out, but right in the middle to help support the instrument. And then your right hand sits in there. And what you can do is you can either hold the instrument out to your right, but that might be too heavy for us at first. So what we should do is rest the bell on our leg like this, and the mouthpiece should come right up to the center of our lips. Now, if you're playing and your mouthpiece only comes up, let's say it comes up to your chin, what you can do at home is take a pillow or take maybe a towel and fold it up and rest it on your leg. That way it raises your bell to come up right, um, so the mouthpiece comes up right to the center of your lips. So again, we make a C in our right hand, put it about halfway on the bell, and then rest it on our leg. Or if our mouthpiece doesn't come up right to our lips, then you just put a pillow or fold up a blanket or a towel and rest it here the bell to sit on top of. Once you have that, we're ready to try to play our first note. I want you to press your first finger down on the first lever, and that will give you a note that sounds like this. See if you can play that with me. Ready, play. And that is note named F, when you press only the first finger down. 
Let's see if we can play for four, rest for four, with whole notes on note name F. One, two, ready, play. Rest, rest, one more time. And now, let's try our other exercise, play for four, rest for four, with four quarter notes. One, two, ready, here we go. Rest, rest, one more time. And those are our two exercises we did on the mouthpiece on the instrument with note name F. Now, horns. I don't expect you to practice for an hour in a row without stopping. But what I do expect is that you practice for small amounts of time, multiple times throughout the day. For example, you could spend about five minutes to practice just on your mouthpiece, doing our two exercises. And then you could go do something else, come back to the instrument later, play on the mouthpiece for two more minutes, and then put the instrument together and play on your horn for about five minutes. If you practice for small amounts of time, for multiple times every day, that's how you're going to get really, really good at playing the horn. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me.